Okay, hello everyone out there. My name is Marcus Songer and I'm going to show you a couple different methods on how you can reorient a part that is modeled in outside software from Mastercam uh, if you have orientation issues when you when you import it into Mastercam. So uh, I used uh, Inventor here real quick and I just created a sample part. You can see the front view is the front, the top is the top. And when I click home view in Inventor, it shows an isometric view. All right, well, if I save this and then import it into Mastercam, it's not gonna orient this way. So let me stop my share and I'll share my Mastercam screen and you can see how it's gonna import. And this is how that part imported. All right. So you can see it's, it's oriented incorrectly. If I go to isometric view, it's, it's sitting up this way. <clears throat> all right, a couple ways to fix it. First of all, if I just go to transform, rotate, and if I pick my object, you can see it wants to rotate along the, the wrong axis. And this is, this is no good, this doesn't, this doesn't help me. So I'm gonna cancel out of this command. Okay, to get it to work this way, you have to go to your planes. To go to planes, go to view and check planes. And this will appear. And you wanna set the right hand side uh, to your construction view. All right, you have to do that first. Now, if I go to transform, rotate, select my object in my selection. Now you can see it's gonna rotate it correctly. So I can go ahead and just type in 90 degrees. And you can see it flipped it the correct way. Make sure that you're on move so that you don't get a, a copy. And when you're done, you can check OK. And here we go. I can right click and clear my colors, get it back to normal. So that's that's one way to move it. OK, your zero or your origin or your work offset may not be in the correct place. So you may have to do, to do a transform move to, to get it correct. Uh, I'll assume that you can do that part on your own. Um, the other way to do this is to create a, a new work plane. So I'm going to undo what I just did and get us back to the way we were. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of rotate this the way that I want it to be. Something like that. Okay. Back over to my planes. I'm going to come over and there's a couple different ways that you can do it uh, by creating a new plane. I'm just gonna do from solid face for this example, okay? I'm gonna pick that solid face, all right? And it brings me up a, a gnomon, and I wanna rotate to get my X, Y, and Z the way I want them. So I want X positive to the right, Y positive to the front, and Z up. So I'll check okay. And right now, this is not in the correct place, okay? I want it up, uh, I'm gonna make my upper left corner my program zero because that would be up against the fixed jaw of my vice. So I can move that by coming over and hitting reselect and I can pick that corner and check okay. And now that is my new zero. However, if I still go to isometric view, it's gonna put it back the way it was, okay? Here's the plane that I just created and I'm gonna rename it. I, and I could have renamed it when I created the plane to begin with, but I'm gonna say new orientation, okay? And if you make that your world coordinate system and your construction and your tool plane, and if I right click on isometric, boom, it's correct. My top is the top, my front is the front, and I am ready to rock and roll. I hope this uh, video found, uh, you found this video useful. And um, if this works out, you know, give me a, a like and, a, you know, say something in the comments. And uh, if there's anything else that I can help with in the future, uh, I'll give it my best shot. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe. Stay healthy.